be down on the grid. Ready? Get a fo uh, let me get a focus on Kevin. You guys want to do a run through real quick? No. Uh, well. Okay. This is Tyler Overstreet. He's an up and coming PR rep at Junior Motorsports. And right now, his life sort of sucks. And the reason why, his driver, Kevin Harvick, is pranking him. He has no idea. This is not like a exploding cannon or snakes falling out of the ceiling type of prank, okay? This is more like a your career is on the line and you're failing miserably type of prank. This is a prank between a driver and his PR rep. Tyler's an easy target because he doesn't really know who I am or when I'm joking or what I'm talking about, um, you know, if I'm serious or not serious. So this uh, couldn't have worked out better. The prank actually started five days before the race. Um, on Monday, Hunt Brothers sent an email saying they needed um, a production team to run this interview with Kevin. They needed a camera, an interviewer. They just pretty much needed everything and they needed Tyler to put it together within five days. But Mike had actually already called these people in advance and told them to make it hell on Tyler. And they did. We may have created a landmine or 12 just to make Tyler mad. But let me tell you something. Nothing made him as furious as this. He had to call Matt Yoakum and ask him to do the interview. And Yoakum played it perfectly. He says, okay, what are you going to pay me? And we had Hunt Brothers tell Tyler that he had to go back to Yoakum and say, one year's worth of free Hunt Brothers pizza. <laughs> Yoakum says, free pizza for a year, Tyler? Son, you're never going to make it in this sport. Tyler lost it. He asked who uses pizza as a currency. <laughs> Tyler was so mad. He came to me and said, we look like idiots. I said, we? No, you. He said, well, what do you want me to do? And I said, do your job, man. Get the PR rep for Kevin Harvick. Handle your business. It's supposed so, to be simple. It's supposed to be simple. Right. That's right. So we made it as hard as possible. After a week's worth of landmines, interview day finally arrived at Texas and things were falling into place okay for Tyler. Yoakum agreed to do the interview. Tyler was feeling good about himself. And then came the call from Yoakum's boss. Regan's yeah. I never even got invited. Hello, this is Matt. You, hey, this is your boss. Hey, well, look, hey. this is the thing. All, all it is is a VNR where we're just, you know, helping out, doing some questions or whatever. This and that uh, for an in-house deal. No, uh, I understand. No, I understand. no, there's no way we're allowed. You're allowed to do this interview. It's a breach of your contract. If it was DW, baby, but it's not you, not you. All right, I got a problem. He won't let me do it. My initial okay. boss said, "No big deal." I yeah. totally understand. Okay. This guy is like, "Look, I don't know what it is." I said, "Well, I followed the chain of command. I emailed up." Guess that leaves only one person to ask the questions. Uh, questions which, by the way, are different from the ones Tyler had seen. Ready? Get a fo uh, let me get a focus on Kevin. You guys want to do a run through real quick? No. Oh. Okay. In a moment of crisis, Tyler shakes, like visibly shakes. He was sitting there holding a the paper like this. Can I? You got to hold the paper with both hands because you're shaking. Oh, oh. Seriously, you can pick that up in the booth. Oh. Like. Is the mic picking it up? Yeah. You can hear it a little okay. bit. I'm going to do it like this. <laughs> okay. I'm an amateur. I know. Thank you. <laughs> I honestly, I was shaking because I started quivering and I started, I started laughing and, and I don't know if you can see it, but my jaw starts, my jaw starts fluctuating because I'm laughing so hard inside and I'm having a tough time. I'm having to look over his head, out the window, down at the floor. I'm having to do everything I can do to keep from laughing because he's over there shaking. What's more likely to happen, Danica eat one piece of pizza or Tony Stewart to eat the whole pizza? This video is to motivate their employees. So my last answer was bad. Is that what you're saying? What's that? Was my last answer bad? I don't think it was bad. To motivate people? No, no, this next question is, this, we're going to the next question. Oh, sorry. I'm this a little is, confused. This, this video is to motivate their employees to give 100%. How often do you, <laughs> how often do you give 100%? You're cracking me up, man. What was it, seriously? How can you even ask that? Is this really the question? These aren't the questions, These are they? Questions. Are you joking? Them? This is what they sent over? I, didn't even I, look never, at I haven't even read them. I didn't even look at them. Let me look at them. Hold on. These are the goofiest questions I've ever One of the dumbest questions he asked was, 
Talk about the relationship you have with your brother. I don't have a brother. Do you like your pizza cheesy and moist or hard and top heavy? If Kevin Harvick was a fan, would Kevin Harvick be Kevin Harvick's favorite driver? What are some qualities in your pizza that you expect out of your race car? Me. <laughs> All I did when I got up and walked out was laugh. How often do you get hungry for a Hunt Brothers pizza while you're in the car? Oh my gosh. I'm having a hard time here. These are the worst questions ever. You know what you should do? What's that? You should look straight into that camera and say, hey Mike Davis. You I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> When you reveal the prank, Tyler all but molests you. Yeah. I was crying. I, the reaction, you know, from him just, uh, the whole thing just kind of made me, uh, made me laugh pretty hard.